Now, more inspiration on the way. Of course, there has been a lot of controversy in the world of sport, um, and tennis has not been untouched. We were left reeling from the news that Maria Sharapova's um, admission that she failed a doping test at the Australian Open. Well, on the other side of that spectrum, well, that scandal has certainly brought a dark cloud over the tournament. A South African tennis player was the bright shining light as he won the doubles championships in wheelchair tennis. Now, if you don't know the name, Lucas Sitole, yet we guarantee you, you won't forget it in the future. There's no one can stop you from achieving your goals except yourself, you know, because you're the one who needs to, to wake up and chase your goals every day. Lucas Sitole is a triple amputee who lost both his legs and right arm in a childhood accident. But that hasn't stopped him from being a professional tennis player. What makes Lucas a special player is that he's got a great spirit, you know. He's a fighter on court, he never gives up, works hard, and, you know, he's just a great person. That fighting spirit has seen Lucas win 37 career titles, including the British and US Open Championship, and become one of the best single players in wheelchair tennis in the world. When I won the US Open, I felt uh, great. Uh, it was a good experience for me, because it was my first time playing in a, a big tournament like that one. And I also felt inspired, you know, to be a black first person to win the US Open, you know. It felt good because it opened a lot of doors, you know, not only for me, but for all the other athletes. In the last four years, he's been able to move 10 spots up in the rankings. Before 2012, he was below the top 10 in the world, but he's been able to get as high as top two. That in itself just shows how much improvement there has been in his play. At the 2016 Australian Open, Lucas and David Wagner from the USA won the championship in the wheelchair tennis quad doubles final in fine form. Winning the, the Australian Open uh, doubles with David was also um, a good experience. David has been playing for 17 years now, so he knows the drill, you know. And the combination that we, we had uh, on the finals uh, was, was great uh, because David he plays more of uh, attacking tennis and I play more of a defensive tennis. But it was our first time playing together, but uh, the way we played there you know, was amazing, was, was brilliant. Lucas now has his sights set on winning a gold medal at the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio and is training twice a day, five days a week to prepare. My preparations for Paralympics, I'll be playing more of international tournaments, you know, playing more with the top four quads because those are the guys who can stop me from uh, achieving what I want to achieve at Rio, you know. So playing with them now, you know, is going to give me a clear view what I need to, to work on. And, how do I need to, to change my game if, I, if there is something which I need to change? He's got a lot of weapons. His speed, he can do a lot of stuff on the court. He hits the ball very hard, he moves very well. He's solid on both the forehand and the back and he's got a big serve. I guess in general he's just a talented person. But while Lucas has extraordinary physical capabilities, what makes him an inspiration is his mental strength and confidence. He's got fire. In him. Just his personality just gets him through a lot of tight situations where a lot of people would have given up, he doesn't give up. So he's a warrior on court, uh, which for him is a, is a great advantage. That's what champions are made of. What keeps me motivated, I think, is the, is the love of the sport that I have, you know, and the self-respect uh, that I have, you know, uh, which it, it always keeps me going, you know, and because now I've seen that uh, I'm the role model to, to most of the youngsters in South Africa, you know, so it keeps uh, pushing me, you know, to do more to show them that there's nothing impossible in life.